All right, we're uh, we're working on part six here, which is surrounded by the work on part four and part five. But I think we finally got to the point where I can I can skip past all this work on the previous parts and come down here and have some open space. So give an example of the conditions under which quick select could run asymptotically slower than deterministic select or indicate why it's not possible. Now, what's the worst case for quick select? Remember, quick select is going to randomly pick a pivot. You know, maybe it chooses this one. Uh, and then it's going to partition the array into everything smaller than the pivot, everything larger than the pivot. Then it knows exactly where in the array the pivot belongs, and so it can compare that pivot against the, it, the pivot's index against the order statistic that it's looking for and decide which part of the array that order statistic is going to be in. And how can we end up with bad behavior from quick select? Well, easy. We can pick a really bad pivot. Every single time we can pick a really terrible pivot. So if every time we pick a pivot that is as large as possible, the largest pivot in the largest element in the array or the smallest pivot in the array, the smallest element in the array, uh, then we will always partition the array into no elements on one side and n minus one elements on the other. And to really make it the worst case, we just check is our order statistic closer to the smaller side or closer to the larger side, and we'll always pick the bad pivot on the opposite side. And we'll do that over and over again, and we'll end up getting n squared performance, which is pretty awful. So can deterministic select do that? Can deterministic select ever do worse than linear performance? No, it can't, because that's what the deterministic part in deterministic select actually means. It will never, ever do worse than that. So under what conditions? When quick select always, it doesn't have to be always, but sufficiently often, and for some reasonable definition of sufficiently, but we'll just say always, because it just asked us to give an example, always picks a worst case pivot, which is to say farthest in sorted array from the order statistic sought. Now notice, by the way, the user has no control over this. The person who's giving us our order statistic and our input array can't force us to always pick such a worst case pivot. The only way we can do it is with really, really tremendously bad luck. Luck that is so bad that it is not going to happen. Quick select is indeed a very, very good algorithm.